On the 4th of July, 1806, we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks to the Grand City Hall in New York. She was a wonderful craft, she was rigged for an aft, and oh, how the wild winds drove her. She caught several blasts, she had 27 masts, and we called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best Sligo rags. We had two million barrels of bones. We had three million sides of old blind horses' hides. Four million barrels of stones. We had five million hogs, six million dogs, seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million bales of old nanny goat's tails in the hold of the Irish Rover. There was Barney, bleh, sorry. There was old Mickey Coot, who played hard on his flute when the ladies lined up for a set. He was tootin' with skill for each sparkling quadrille, though the dancers be slothered and bet. With his smart, witty talk, he was cock of the walk, and he rolled the dames under and over. They all knew at a glance, when he took up his stance, that he sailed on the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee, there was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk, who was scared stiff of work, and a man from Westmeath called Malone. There was Slugger O'Toole, who was drunk as a rule, and fighting Bill Tracy from Dover. And your man, Mick McCann, from the banks of the band, was a skipper on the Irish Rover. We were seven years at sea when the measles broke out and the ship lost her way in the fog. And the whole of the crew was reduced down to two, twas just me and the captain's old dog. And the ship hit a rock, <claps> Lord, what a shock! The bulkhead was turned right over. She turned nine times around, and that poor dog almost drowned. Now we're the last of the Irish Rover. Ha, 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 ha.